no, no. I sit on the chair. See, it's all the chair. This lucky chair. <laughs> and then I concentrate real hard with my lucky chair. Yeah, it always works, except college basketball. I don't know why it doesn't. <laughs> I gotta give me another chair for that or something. Hey, Laura, you're sitting in the chair there, the, the uh, chair of no consequence. Uh, 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 listen, I don't think you like that chair. You know, you, you'd be more comfortable in uh, uh, here. In this chair here. <laughs> What, you don't have a sword she could sit on or anything? I'm fine, right where I am, Norm. All right, fine, suit yourself. <clears throat> Tackle him, you idiot! What's the matter with you? Jeez, Norm, I didn't know you are such a big Saints fan. Huh? Oh, no, I'm not. I'm just a, a casual observer of the game. You know, I will kill you! <laughs> I will, you will die! Ah! Stupid, unlucky crate! Norm, you okay? Huh? Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm fine, Lori. Uh, uh, listen, Lori, uh, I have a mole that's been changing color, size, and shape rather rapidly. Can you take a look at it here? Right over here, there you go. Ah! What is the matter with you? All right, everybody, shut up. I gotta concentrate, all right? What? You bet on that game, didn't you? That's why you care so much about the Saints winning. Uh -huh. <gasps> I bet on any game? No, not at all, no, no. I, uh, I'll just look somewhere else. How's Norm, that? Norm, <laughs> this is a very slippery slope. You know, once you get right back into gambling, you know that... Oh, my God. You're watching the reflection of the TV in my eyes, aren't you? <laughs> no, I swear I'm not. I'm sw Touchdown! Yes! <laughs> yes! You are the chair, Norm. Huh? And it's important to understand how your actions affect the people around you. Oh, I see we have someone new joining us this week. Would you like to start first? Uh, well, I just want to uh, say that uh, I used to think that I was better than you people, you know? And then uh, something happened to me recently where I realized that uh, I have a problem because uh, something I did really hurt my brother. So I just want to say that uh, I have an addiction too and, uh, and I, I need help. My name is Tony, and I haven't had sex with a dead person in over two weeks. Wait a minute. This is a Gambler's Anonymous. It must be down the hall. I just want to say something. Remember earlier when I said I, I wasn't better than you people? I am. I'm better than you people. <laughs> now I'm going to leave, all right? And if I should happen to die on the hallway, just stay the hell away from me, all right? Keep <laughs> your hands to yourself. <laughs> oh, Mac, you're a good man. <laughs> I mean, you're not a good man, but you're a bad man that I don't owe any money to. You know, in five years, when this kid is old enough to turn pro, I'm going to finally be able to get out of this dirty business and do what I've always wanted to do. Oh, uh, yeah? What's that? Taxidermy. I'm dying to try it with animals. Look, why don't you go home with your wife? Eh? She loves you in her own shrill, hateful way. Yeah, I love her too. But if I quit now, I'll never forgive myself. This way, I win the tournament, and she'll be mad at me for a couple of months. So what? Well, how about this for an idea, huh? I tell her that you're gonna go to a prom with a 15-year-old girl, and then she'd twist your private parts into balloon animals. <laughs> Not cool balloon animals either, but probably like a poodle or something like that. <laughs> now, I got a, a funny thing to do with these uh, yellow deceased stickers. What you do is you find an old dude, right? Like this character over here. <laughs> hey, old dude, what's up there? Nice to see you here. Yeah, now, when people will think that he escaped from the morgue and he's a dirty zombie roaming the earth. Norm? Norm? Huh? Will you, uh, will you explain this phone bill? Oh, yes, sir. Of course, sir. Yeah, every month, the phone company sends a bill. <laughs> it's not free, you uh, know? What about, well, these, what, what about these calls right here? What are these calls right here? Oh, well, we got that memo, sir, that said we could make a reasonable number of personal calls. I made mine to China. <laughs> Who could you possibly know in China? Well, nobody until all the calls. <laughs> you don't 
to speak Chinese. Ah, I'm learning, sir. I'm learning. Watch this here. Uh, uh, Wei Ni Hao Ni Yo My uh, Prince Albert in a Can? <laughs> Uh, I can tell, sir, you're still in great shape. Oh, you're damn right. Oh, hey, hey, that's a 72-year-old muscle. Feel <laughs> <Good>. it. <laughs> yeah, that's really something there, sir. I can see you keep in pretty good shape yourself. Oh, well, I try, sir. Oh, come on, now, don't be modest. Look at those shoulders. Yeah, strong back. <laughs> you got a beautiful ass. <laughs> Find a piece of that. <laughs> We've always had problems. I mean, he's this big macho man. He was disappointed when I became a social worker. He thinks it's a sissy job. But, Dad, you're never going to improve your relationship with your father unless you discuss these feelings with him. What, are you nuts? You don't discuss feelings with your dad? <laughs> That's why God created moms and <laughs> anonymous women on chat lines and that kind of thing. Hey, you guys want to come with me? Uh, no, no way. No, I have enough trouble being around my own father. I still feel weird about that one Christmas morning when I accidentally made eye contact with him. So, how'd you work things out with your bookie? Uh, well, he knew he'd never get the money out of me, so uh, he gave me a break. I, I gave him my car and, uh, and my TV and uh, an organ to be named later. I'm trying to sell him on my appendix. Lifesaver? Uh, yeah, thanks, buddy. What are you in for? For gambling. Damn government. You know, if they would just legalize all gambling and tax it, you could finally provide some tax relief to the middle class. Yeah, yeah it'd make a lot of sense there, pal. Could you uh, hand me the paper? Oh, yeah, sure. Want this toilet paper? Die, you're on the toilet! <laughs> doesn't diminish my point. <laughs> no, I don't like to cause trouble. Oh, what are you talking about? You're a teenager. You should be causing trouble. You should be out there skipping classes and making fake IDs, you know, and going through your, your sexual discovery with Mrs. Hanrahan from across the street, you know, after she gets off her shift at the cement plant. Oh, that's a lot of fun, Jason. I think I, I, think I still got her number here. I can give it to you. What's good here? What, what, what should I order? Oh, everything's good. Everything's good. Hey, who won the Knicks game last night? Yeah, I'm, a, I'm a little nervous. I've, I've never done this before. Oh. Yeah, well, uh, eating with a fat guy is scary the first time. Uh, <laughs> but uh, don't worry. You know, he, he'll share with you. It's all right. Uh, can I be honest with you for a sec? Oh, yeah, sure. But it, it kind of makes me suspicious of everything you've said up to this point. I, I just think you should know that uh, I am really vulnerable right now. I, I, my head's in a weird place about love and relationships. Uh, yeah, you know what I say, huh? <laughs> Save some for the shrink, huh, honey? I, mean, I, I only tell you because I think you should know that I'm coming out of a long-term relationship. Uh-oh, very... wings. You know what that means. Ten-minute moratorium on talking. <laughs> Lori, this guy's uh, a jerk. Wings, wings, wings. <laughs> All right, fella, I don't know what the game is, but uh, I'm in. Deal the cards, Pally. Or the egg. <laughs> I got an egg, huh? Oh, I see, okay. Playing some kind of egg game. All right, excellent. All right, am I winning, or...? before they're born, right? She used me like one of those little decorative soaps that you find in somebody's house. You know, the kind you're not supposed to use, but you, you realize it too late, you know? And then you, you try to clean it off with a Kleenex, but, you know, and then the Kleenex just sticks to it, and then you, you don't know what the hell to do, so you throw the whole damn mess into the hamper. That was you? No, nah, no, nah, it's just a, just an old expression. Norm, Norm. <laughs> hey, uh, 
Are you okay there, Jason? I'm just tired of doing everything his way. I'm not like him. I'm different. I'm tired of hiding who I am. Ah, <laughs> uh, geez, you're different, huh? <laughs> yeah, well, I might not be the best guy to talk to there about being different there, Jason. Uh, you see, I'm not different myself. I'm, uh, what do you call, exactly the same. Plan, and he's keeping her creepy fiance off track by pretending that they're gal pals. Oh, my God, Jenny, we ate so much ice cream today. I swear to God, instead of eating it, I should have just applied it directly to my thighs. <laughs> Okay, now this is what we're gonna do. All the cute kids, you get up front. And uh, all the unfortunate looking ones, you get in back. Come on, kids, you know who you are. Don't make me do this. Okay, excellent, let's go. I say that heaven is missing an angel tonight? Not for long. <laughs> don't, don't tell me you hired wiener dog. Well, <laughs> no, sir, technically you did when you signed this authorization form. You remember you encouraged us to find someone with a disability. Applicant has no thumbs, has three inch legs, and speaks absolutely no English. This is, this, this is atrocious. He's fired. He's fired. Get rid of him. Get rid of him now. Come on, sir. You can't fire Wiener Dog. There, he's a good man. What? Watch me. Well, so actually, sir, as crazy as it sounds, you really can't fire him. If you terminate a worker with no notice, the union automatically files a grievance. I, I can't fire a dog. <laughs> this is great. For our new drug counselor, can we get my hermit crab? I have a goldfish I've been trying to get in the government for years. <laughs> stop! Stop! <laughs> That's right. I'll tell you something about that Fitzgerald. He may be rich, but all his money and power can't stop me from rubbing my hands together maniacally. Welcome to the couch of despair. You know, this wasn't the worst Halloween ever. I guess not. One last year was pretty bad. Remember that big fat woman dressed as Lady Godiva? Mm. <laughs> yeah, that was me. Norm, he's got so much more than you, like a wallet and two shirts. Yeah, yeah, you're right, you know. Maybe it's time to go into phase two of my plan. You know, now that I've, I've gained her trust, I'm gonna start giving her deliberately bad advice. And then I'll, I'll ruin her relationship with this Kevin character. <laughs> Actually, uh, Norm, any advice you give would do that. Rock and roll. <laughs> ah, ah, Norm. I need to ask you and Danny something really important. Ah, come on, Shelly, you don't do your high school games here. If you'll like me, you can just tell me directly. <laughs> Who do I tell if I feel absolutely nothing? Well, I think you should probably tell a doctor. <laughs> uh, let me ask you this about, about Kevin. Does he spend a lot of time in the, reading uh, in the bathroom? Yeah. Uh, he does, huh? I'm reading this book, uh, Men Are From Mars and Women Are From Venus, which is not true, by the way. And, uh, and it said in that book, you see, that a man, when he's ducking a relationship, will go to his cave. You know, which in this case is his bathroom, unless you guys have a cave. You can try presenting some of your successes. Yeah, that's a good idea. Yeah. Hey, maybe I'll present them in the form of a pie chart. Yeah, people love pie charts. <laughs> you know why, don't you? People love pie. When these things come out of your mouth, do they go right back up into your ear? talk. This is my only daughter. I had to be both mother and father to her. Oh, yeah? Jeez, I saw a fellow once at the Circus of Argus like that. And... <laughs> On one side of his face, there a big bushy mustache. You go to the other side. Hubba, hubba, lady. You're not helping. What time is the hearing? Hearing is three o'clock. And uh, don't worry, because with the help of a little oxygen, you're going to be as sharp as a tack for that review. <laughs> Oh, wow. 
Ha, I just remembered where I left my uh, Lincoln Logs in fifth grade. <laughs> In 1938, I killed a hobo. <laughs> now, to help you get over Jen, I've made a date for you with the Playboy triplets. Here's their phone number. Now, you're gonna have to dial those numbers on an actual phone. <laughs> okay, you can't just talk into the piece of paper. <laughs> you must think I'm pretty spineless that I would even consider such a low and vulgar offer such as this. Can you hand me that scotch tape? Sure. <laughs> you are some piece of work, buddy, I'll tell you that. It's, it's such a rapidly evolving field. So, have you ever participated in a heart-lung transplant? Holy Lord God, no. <laughs> no, no, no. I, I, I am firmly of the belief that a, a heart should never serve as a lung. And, and conversely, a, a lung should never serve as a heart. It's, 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 it's blasphemy. Where's Lori? She's supposed to be here with Jenny by now. She'll be here. Jenny's gonna be so excited. It's so romantic having a surprise wedding. Yeah, uh, yeah all the Henderson men got married like that, you know? My mother almost got away, but thank God the extra weight from her pregnancy slowed her down a little, you know? Oh, my God, yeah, I must have been in a hundred fights. So what are you doing now? Oh, I'm a social worker. Really? Yeah, yeah, I help people. You know, it's not as bad as it sounds. <laughs> I can't believe they tamed you. It's too bad. I kind of had a thing for the old Norm Henderson. Oh, no, they didn't tame me. Hey, listen, can you tame a lion, right? <laughs> Actually, I guess you can tame a lion, right? <laughs> Look at you. You're so cute now. Oh, yeah? Hey, you want to go out sometime? Yeah, I don't like cute. <laughs> well, fine. Brown's like you are a dime a dozen. I'll see you in hell, baby. <laughs> That's still cute? Mm -hmm. uh, did I say baby? I meant dirty whore. Wow. Every time I think you're one kind of guy, you turn out to be another. Yeah, well, you'll soon learn that there's two kinds of norms, you know? There's a the loving norm and then the leaving norm. Yeah, the leaving norm, sometimes you'll love them. The loving norm, often you leave them. You know, the thing about the leaving norm oh, and the... what are you talking about? Oh, then there's the rambling, incoherent norm. Don't try to figure out how they'll burn you. I told you, the guy is a flake and he is never going to commit to you. I'm not a flake. I'm just not going to marry her today. I happen to have a dental cleaning. That's a 1987 calendar. Oh, well, yes, obviously. I've rescheduled it. Norm! And I think you could use their help to get sober. I don't know where you go to get help for laziness and stupidity. Hey, Danny, Judy Bitterman says I need AA. Well, she ought to know. <laughs> Do either one of you understand what anonymous means? But we know you, Judy Bitterman. Hey, hey where are you going? Judy, Judy, Judy Bitterman! Judy Bitterman! Judy Bitterman! Take 12 steps back here! <laughs> ah, come on, Lori. I'll be back tomorrow, all right? I just want to take a day off, watch some TV. Norm, the TV is behind you. Is your back so bad you can't even turn yourself around? No, no, no. That's just the, the way I like to watch it. I watch it through this little mirror. <laughs> Yeah, look at that. Barnaby Jones is left-handed. <laughs> success stories. Uh, no, they're not. They're all our failures. No, they're not. I checked in their files, and they've all found God. They're all, what do you call, recidivists. <laughs> Recidivism isn't a religion. A recidivist is someone who's fallen back on their bad patterns. Artie, what are you doing here? Uh, me and Norm are going to make a long-distance call to our dad. It's his birthday. Yeah, we call him every year. We make a big deal out of it. Hey, we get all sappy on the phone. It's kind of nice, you know. OK, it's ringing. Hey, hey Dad, Dad, happy, happy birthday! birthday. <laughs> OK, bye. <laughs> Game is right here on your desk. Sir, I asked Norm to buy that for little Scott Ripley. He's been in the hospital for three weeks. Yeah, yeah, that's right. 
Yeah, I didn't say it earlier, sir, because I didn't want to shame you. But uh, now that the cat's out of the bag, may I just say, uh, sheesh. <laughs> Hello, that guy, huh? You were supposed to give that to little Scott Ripley. Ah, uh, he can't use it. He's got no thumbs. <laughs> the gun. <laughs> the one you were always afraid of was Grin. Yes, but I would really rather talk to Martuni right now. I ate him. Ah! <laughs> I'm sitting here watching you try and scare me with this stupid puppet, and all I can think of, how was I ever so afraid of a piece of wood? Because Dad loved us more than you. Shut up. <laughs> yes. there's, a dead, there's a dead homeless person in the, in the food bank freezer. Uh, what it is, is it's the city trying to save money. They're now feeding the homeless to each other. It's a little... <laughs> I could teach kids, you know? I am better than almost every child in the world at hockey. <laughs> You know, if you had five kids, that's $250 an hour. $250 an hour? Ooh, that's classy dough, Lori. That's hooker money. <laughs> Norm sold the rights to his image, and look what they did with it. Well, at least it's a nice picture. <laughs> Those posters are gonna be up all over the city. I'm just saying, you can see why the kids would go for them, huh? Hi, uh, well, while the kids are warming up, uh, I just want to introduce myself. My name is Coach Henderson, and I'll be working with your boys. <laughs> now, I want you, uh, I want you all to know that working closely with children is what I live for. Uh, actually, with the enjoyment I'll be getting from your kids, I should be paying you. <laughs> You make me want to puke. Come on, honey. Well, he makes a good point. $100 an hour is a, a mite steep. However, may I remind you that your kids will remember what I give them for the rest of their lives. <laughs> hey. Jeez, what a bunch of grouches. Look at what Fitz did now. I taped it off the TV last night. Coming soon to Broadway, Mickey Rooney as Norm Henderson in If the World is So Big, Why Am I So Small Down There? Are you there, God? It's me, Norm. One quick question and I'll leave you alone. Come on, damn it. Pick up the phone. You, you gotta think of something fast or you're gonna go to jail. Well, the guy's already humiliated me so much, you know. All New York thinks I'm a small penis pedophile. I mean, you know, I got regular pedophiles laughing at me. <laughs> you look so hot, you look almost as hot as the actual Statue of Liberty. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Except there's no comparison, really, because she has 400 pound breast. <laughs> what are you, a crazy person? You get caught dating her, you get thrown out of here. Oh, come on, what's the big deal? I met her before I knew she was a client. Norm, it's, it's a dual relationship, okay? Eventually, it's gonna lead to sex. Yeah, well, so what? Why can't I have sex with a client? <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's not like we're psychiatrists or undertakers. <laughs> uh, remember the other night when I uh, told you I was crazy about you and asked you out? Yeah, Dan, I'm still thinking about it. Oh, oh good, I was hoping you are still thinking about it and, uh, once again, thank you for your consideration. Hey, uh, way to play it cool there, Hef. Lay off. This is hard enough as it is. I know it is, buddy. I want to help you the best I can. Uh, oh, hey, uh, Taylor, listen, uh, let me tell you something. If I weren't straight, I'd like to get a piece of this. <laughs> You're a very handsome young man. Oh, well, thank you, and I, I'm looking forward to a lovely evening. Well, so am I. Take off your pants. <laughs> well, now, come on now, Mrs. Beaumont. I, you know, I, I really want to get downstairs to the embassy party there. I, I don't want to miss the ambassador. Well, neither do I. Why don't you whip out the ambassador and we'll both get to know him. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and now, Mrs. Beaumont, you're being a little, what's the word, grotesque? <laughs> Come on, I want you to see heaven. And I'm going to see either the ceiling or the pillows. That'll be your choice. <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on now, Mrs. Beaumont. The night is young, and so are, uh, you know, half of us, so... Uh... How about, uh, what do you say to some dancing, huh? Oh, good 
good idea. That's for me. What? Go on. Shake what God give you. <laughs> By the way, are you shaved or am I gonna have to do that? God, what kind of woman are you? She scared me. Oh. <laughs> I know she did, but she's gone now. Also, my thong hurts. <laughs>